here we go again. I mean, this is a true show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is a true show. Oh, yes. Hello everyone, I'm doing this for my phone. I don't know what the hell is going on with my phone. It goes in and out. I don't know. I might have to just give me a new phone eventually. <clears throat> and then my Wi-Fi is acting weird as well. I mean, it's, I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi. Flickers on and off. And me being an ex-technician, you know, I've done all the steps and things of that nature. But a strange thing that's beyond all of my years of experience is going on with the Wi-Fi. So I don't know if someone's tapping in to whatever. And um, I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to let, because you guys probably wonder what's going on. First of all, YouTube is still flagging. Every video I put out thus far has been flagged for review. Um, my Back to the Future video has been flagged i'm not making any money on that which i had doomed it originally as kid friendly believe it or not because it is a kid friendly video but every time i choose that option just certain features become disabled no comments i don't know if that's because they don't want people in the comment section you know um luring kids or using foul language and things of that nature which i completely understand but still, they should just filter the comment section then, you know. And, but they disable the comment section. I don't do that. They do that when I have a kid friendly. And um, my Black History videos, all of them are being reviewed. Every video I, I literally put out thus far has been reviewed. And one of my videos actually got doomed as fail for review, which is bizarre. I think it was episode two of Malcolm X. One of them, which is crazy because you put no kids as the option, but they still hold that type of limitations as if you're viewing it to kids. If I put no kids for the view, grown people have heard curse words. Grown people have saw mild forms of nudity even though i don't even have that in my video or whatever my videos are not that graphical so i don't know how they get doomed for not review when oh you're talking about loss of life okay how am i supposed to talk about black history and not talk about loss of life how am i supposed to talk about things going on in the world but not talk about loss of life you have news channels blogs all of these other channels who literally built their platform talking about all of these occurrences that, that goes on in the world, but I get flagged and don't get no money from it, which I don't understand. My husband and I have brighter our brains, like, what the heck is going on? They put no kid friendly, but technically it's not really no kid friendly. Okay, if it's not no kid friendly, then why is the option there then? It's stupid because people over 18 have seen crime. I mean, you could, the news is public access and they talk about crime more than YouTube do. So, I just don't understand. I, I, I'm getting sick of it. I'm trying to get out of it. I know I've been saying this for years because my heart is in my YouTube. I put my heart and soul and blood, shed and tears, a lot of tears, a lot of lot, a lot of tears. And you guys keep me going, but um, it's getting to the point where I'm barely making even enough to pay a bill on YouTube. Seriously, you know. And it's getting lower and lower as the months gradually increase. And I don't even talk about Illuminati anymore. If you guys notice, I don't even talk about that anymore. And the certain celebrities I try not to bring up because every time you bring them up, crap happens. So, there's first of all, I should be able to talk about whatever I want to talk about. Other YouTube channels do the same. Even my missing videos. If I do a missing video that's not even as graphic as some channels who are literally built around missing videos who gets very graphical and they don't ever get flagged i would get flagged and i would not make no money on that video even though i'm talking about literally the same thing so there's definitely a difference and tiktok was starting to take off as well but there you can talk about black history but they don't really like a lot of black people talking about black history you have to be another 
race and talk about black history to make it on TikTok. I've noticed that. But if I talk about another black person in a negative way, you know, you know, seriously, just down talking my people, I will probably get a lot of views. But then you get the hatred from your people of talking about your people, despite you being a channel built on black issues. <laughs> so there is definitely a double standard and it drives me freaking crazy. I just want to let you guys know the stats of that. My marriage is fine. We're fine. Got past the whole hurdle. He knows everything. Um, we just decided to just leave it there. Leave it alone. He understood. He was hurt for a while. Yeah, gave me the cold shoulder. Yada, yada, yada. I told him if he wanted to divorce me, he can. I would have divorced him and moved on. But he chose not to. And we've gotten through that. I mean, I've been with the man for, for 20 years. Okay, so there's a lot invested in the marriage so anyway we'll see in the near future but other than that everything is fine here on the personal front it's just financially and career wise i'll have to make some moves because things are getting out of control oh and the covid um team chat i accumulate a lot of members i do have your information i know how to get in contact with you but i start started getting threats and i'm afraid of my life you know, to do the whole COVID, um, anti-COVID thing. And I have to come up with a new strategy and how I want to take this because I was telling my husband just last night, actually, and I was crying because not about the COVID, but on YouTube, just everything in general. It's just a lot of stress, a lot of stress. The girl got gray hairs, okay? <laughs> Seriously. But um, I was telling him, I was like, one tweet that joe biden had tweeted that scared me he said he would not rest until every american is vaccinated maybe paraphrasing but that's what he said i was like i saw that i was like i have to do something they're gonna get to the point where getting vaccinated is gonna be mandatory and it scares me but i was like how can i do that if we have bills i don't have the time to put into trying to do that you know or i'm juggling a full-time job and working these side gigs, all these platforms. I'm trying to just to stay afloat, you know, and it's killing me, you know, and the COVID thing keeps you limited to, to do any freaking thing. You got to wear a mask here, six feet there. It's so freaking annoying, you know, and the cops are ready to kill whoever looks suspicious. So it's crazy. You know, I'm like, I don't even know what to do. You know, praying is not enough. So I have no, no idea what to do, you know, um, but just let you guys know that I am definitely trying. I'm going to definitely keep my Patreon if I do end up taking down my channels. Facebook is a waste of time. I'm not making any. They want me to monetize my channel again. Even though all the they claim copyrights I've got. All the companies release every claim. So there's no copyright infringement at all on, my, on that page. The new Facebook page. But they still want to monetize me. I can't even click the option to get a review. So I don't know what's going on with that freaking page. And YouTube views, still the same. <laughs> you already know what's going on. They have complete control over them. I am just waiting for them to be freaking exposed. I'm waiting for YouTube to be exposed. I am grateful, but I'm waiting for them to be really freaking exposed. Because they need to be. Especially with me. And the Hex video... It holds a lot of truth. I do believe I'm hexed. I think I'm hexed by either fans or not so much a family member, but I think fans of some celebrity I may have talked about. Who knows? I don't know. But that's where I'm at. I tried to cover all questions. That's where I'm at at the moment. Oh, the video where you guys were saying, oh, you sound different. Well, a lot of my videos, my tone is not the same. My podcast, my voice is different. The last two, three videos I put out, my voice was different. Um, I am able to change my voice. I have that talent to change my voice. At work, my voice is different. At home, my voice is different. When I'm angry, my voice is different. You know? So I definitely have different tones. I talk for a living, so therefore I do get hoarse. I am not sick. I'm just tired and stressed the fuck out. Okay, sorry for my language, considering I'm not able to curse, because if I curse, they'll flag it, even though I put no kid friendly. So, 
yeah, crazy. Just keep praying for me, you guys. And you definitely want to join my Patreon because I'm slowly, gradually just going to use that as my platform. And YouTube can kiss my ass. I'm grateful, but it's been five, six years now. And I'm still, I tried everything. I'm running out of the options here. I tried jumping on other platforms, but when someone has some kind of hacking or hex or anything of that nature against you, you can't run from it. You know, once you're on the grid, it's hard to get off the grid. And you, if you make your money on the grid, how the heck are you going to make money? You know what I mean? And with this COVID stuff, you can't go out and make money. So you're kind of stuck. So just pray for me, you guys. And sign up for my Patreon because that will be my main platform pretty soon. TikTok, I don't know what's going on with that. I have no idea. But um, thanks for supporting me. The people who have supported me support my podcast. I'm going to definitely be using that as a definite voice tool for my daughter and I, or just me. I mean, she may not be in every podcast. I have my own podcast, the Truth Show podcast, too, believe it or not. So definitely sign up for that. I'll be using that for myself or whoever I might bring on. So I have my own, then I have the one with my daughter. So you definitely want to sign up for both. Other than that, thank you for supporting me. And I just want to give you guys an update on what's going on with me. Thanks so much. Bye.